So you're gonna get a racist to write a speech on race. Seems legit. It's the politics. <laughs> and stoners it's me on dk checking in once again and i'm here with another politics first things first yes i have taken a break it has been a hard time just to be a black woman in america over the last several weeks um and to be honest the climate politically just became a lot for me and so while i love bringing you all content for the politics fix my first priority is myself and my children and our mental health. And I just had to tend to that. So sorry, not sorry, but I'm back. Okay, now that that's over, the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, engage. Because listen, this is the only way that we're gonna have meaningful discourse is if we engage. I want you all to, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, share, Bing! Hit that notification bell so you know every time I drop another politics fix video. And here we go. Our president, right? Well, do we call him that? I don't know. Trump, um, no, I don't really like that either. The current occupant of the White House. Nah. Nah, because a lot of people live there. 45. Um, is set to give a speech on race today, right? While he's in Texas. And few things came out about it yesterday. He tapped Stephen Miller to uh, write the speech on race, okay? Now, I don't know if you all have the pleasure of not knowing who Stephen Miller is, but if you have had the pleasure up until now, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. I gotta let you know who he is. Stephen Miller is the architect of the immigration policy, the Muslim ban, the kids in cages, all of that good stuff. That's all Stephen Miller, just so that you know, okay? But wait, there's more. He also was talking about um, like when the Charleston thing happened, the uprising in Charleston, well, that was straight riot, racist, all of that, all the things, right? He says, because Amazon had taken down the Confederate flags. So he goes, Amazon took down the, Federate, uh, the Confederacy, the Confederate flag, but I guarantee you there's a commie flag up there. Commie flag? What are you talking about? Then he said, the problem is Amazon wants to ban real America. does that even mean? Most of the fucked up shit that he said has been like in the last five years. So it's not like, oh my God, we're holding him accountable for something that happened, you know, two decades ago or when he was in high school or college or whatever. No, most of the stuff that he did that was super messed up has happened since 2015. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the person that's gonna be writing the speech that 45 is delivering today. Now, of course, I'm gonna come with another video tomorrow just to give you guys my thoughts on, on the speech, but I think that's pretty jarring. And it says a lot about where 45's head is, you know what I mean? Um, that's all I got about that. I'll be back with another video because as you know, there's always something going on in politics. I remain your black progressive voice for the 2020 campaign and beyond. And until next time, I love y'all. I swear I do.